Gwen? Yes? Not as fun of a day as Monday. No. Nope. But here's the deal. We've got Elizabeth doing the interview again. We're, she's still in Eugene. She's watching Saturday night, but she's conducting this interview via FaceTime. And we're back in Portland. And we're already back in Portland. I'm exhausted. Yeah, it's been so a long day. You, so you ran a 10K this morning. Didn't go as well as you had hoped, but Elizabeth, we're ready for your questions. Well, I think that we got to start there. What happened? What happened? Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I went into the race with good intentions. I was excited to race. And I, I probably just went a little too hard too early. So I was really focused on getting myself in good position. I felt like, you know, I haven't had a good 10K this year. I, I, would, I would beg to say I haven't had a good 10K ever. Um, no. I guess that 31.50. That 31.55 you did at Stanford. A couple and, years yeah. ago. But, you know, I, I just, I'm frustrated that I haven't been, I've been really, begging and wanting to do a 10k um and i was really looking forward to this one i felt like you know what i can pr even though it's hot i felt like um yeah and you know i've been heat training and i just i went i went for it i went you know i was in good position the first mile or two and the reality is those first two miles were you know probably a minute faster than my pr and it just the heat got to me i think you know i probably didn't give enough credit to how hard the 5k was on me um I don't know if I want to go into this, but like, you know, my last month of training was a little interesting. I had a, I had a, a, a Breck Femme tear. And so like, I probably, my training probably wasn't ideal for the 10K, but I felt like after the 5K, I was like, I have two good workouts in that will lead to this good 10K. And yeah, it just, it didn't go to plan and yeah. it's frustrating. And I feel really, really bad that I didn't finish the race. Um, you know, I, I feel like I should have finished it, but there was a certain point where it was just like, it was so incredibly draining. It was so hot. I just felt like if I go another two laps, I could possibly have a heat stroke and is that worth it? And, you know, I talked to my family, Elizabeth, I talked to you about this. I talked to my mom about it. I talked to Pat and my mom was the only one that kind of made me feel better. And she just said, um, you know, we were talking about like, is this a good lesson for Stanley that you can just quit when it's not going your way? And my mom, you know, framed it as, you know, there's good lessons in everything and you can, you know, this wasn't going to plan. You weighed kind of the, the consequences versus what was going on and you made a decision and, um, yeah. So now what? Like, what do you wake up tomorrow and do? Now what? Um, yeah, so tomorrow, I mean, tomorrow's pretty easy because I feel like I, because I had that rec fem fair, tear, I feel like I actually like had a little bit of a break and now I'm kind of like, I feel like I have some fitness that I can carry. You only have so many races in you, but, um, you know, Jerry and I were talking about if I wasn't going to race the 10K, um, which he wasn't super pumped on, but, you know, once I said like my family was there, he's like, I think we should race it and... Um, you know, my goal was like, I feel like I can get top 10. And so like, he was like, yeah, yeah. Like those are both like good, solid reasons to race. Um, but if I wasn't going to do the 10 K, I was going to race Peachtree road race next week. And I don't know. I mean, I think this race took a lot out of me, the 10 K today. So I'm not sure if I'll do that, but there's a couple road races coming up. So just kind of like try to use whatever bit of fitness or legs that I have in me, use them up, um, just racing on the roads. Cause I think that's super fun. Pat, what are you thinking? I feel like when I reflect on 2012, 2016, and now 2021, I feel like we've had every single Olympic experience emotion-wise. From like the highs, the lows, this doesn't, this to me, it doesn't feel like a devastating low or a super amazing high. It's this, it's this like yeah, this is what Olympic trials is like. It's you got to be, you got to get everything right on the day. It's a big day, um, and I was just, I was still, you know, I think when you came off the second group uh, in the middle of the race, I looked at your sister and I said, "Buckle up," because <laughs> I knew it was going to start to get really ugly. Um, you know, and I think it, the, the the last six months has been so fun to be next to you in this whole process and I've seen you really like yesterday you were just googling road races that you could do the rest of the summer and I thought wow that's that's somebody that truly enjoys and loves what they do 
and I think I found so much joy in that versus you know there was a huge amount of stress when you were the favorite to win a gold medal so um, I, I didn't take any of it I, I guess I've tried really hard not to take any of this for granted and enjoy every moment but it still sucks oh no of course of course no you wanted I mean look yeah, of course. I mean, today was definitely not today, my today, potential, yeah, and it was, yeah. it's a bummer, like, I felt like I was mentally prepared, um, yeah, just, you know, whatever, that's all I had today, and it's not good, and it, it's just, it's a part of racing, and I think, you know, I think we kind of take a little bit of it for granted, because, like, when I was at my best in triathlon, I was so good that I had some wiggle room and like I don't really have I have zero wiggle room right sure. now and yeah. so yeah. the bad races just look way worse um and yeah I mean yeah yep any other questions Elizabeth who's watching, who's watching Stanley who's watching Stanley Stanley Stanley's being supervised he, we got that Lego set built and now he's off and playing with that right yeah, now yeah Pat got him a new Lego set <laughs> yeah I don't I, uh, I'm excited to watch all my teammates, yes. I think, um, you know, it's been a really, Bowerman has been through the highs and lows this, um, this trials, and it's just, it's really exciting to see so many of them qualify for their first Olympics. Um, and, you know, there's heartbreak in it too, the people that don't qualify, but it's, you know, today, um, Carissa qualified in the 10K, and it's heartbreaking for the other girls that didn't qualify that were in it, and probably could have um, but you know to see Carissa come back after the 5k and put forth that sort of effort was it's just it's it's inspiring and like to I, like I know she didn't perform because of me but to have a connection like when you have a connection like that and you see people perform it it is exciting and like that does bring me joy and that is um, yeah and you know even Elise today she sent me a really nice text just before we started this um, this video and it was just super sweet and um just seeing her develop i remember the last usas and and how she's progressed from then to now and just seeing that is, is super exciting so yeah we have a couple people in the 5k and the 15 tomorrow so yep. should be good yeah that's it for Thank elizabeth you. Do, you have, do you have any other questions do you pat wanted to talk about like what's next next and i think like elizabeth you kind of asked that um you, I mean, look, you, you seem like you just want to keep running. I know we've obviously, we've got a, you and I would both like to have another baby. That's hard, you, you know, that, yeah, I mean, we've got to have that conversation. Well, we just had it in the car, and it's hard. <laughs> like, it's just really, really hard because I don't, I feel like I'm in a good spot right now. When I had Stan coming back, I remember saying, like, there's no way I can ever come back again. Like, this was just too difficult. And I really want another kid. I really want Stan to have a sibling. But I also don't, I still want to compete. And, you know, I said, like, Pat, if I know that I, we can have a healthy baby and can have a baby at 41, like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I keep running. But then I feel like that's so <laughs> selfish of me. And it is selfish. But the reality is, like, I'm enjoying this and I'm making money. And it's just, it's really, really hard to make that decision. And every time I think about it, it's just... Uh, is it selfish? I don't know to want to continue to run when I feel like Stanley wants, I don't know when, it, yeah. But we also talked about adoption and what that road is. So yeah. I don't know. That's just a total loss and something that is, I don't know. It's hard. You gotta keep thinking about it. Yep. All right, well, everyone. I, I fear that there's a possibility of another Olympic trials or another Olympic trials. I'm ready to cheer. <laughs> Elizabeth's ready to cheer. It's only awesome. three years away now, so it's like it, it's gonna come. It's gonna be like that, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, thanks for following everyone. Um, it was really fun. It was really fun to do these style of videos post race. I think this will be. You've got a bunch of races coming up, hopefully, and I think this has been a fantastic way to kind of have a have a debrief that everybody can yeah. see. Last time somebody said they wanted to hear more about the race. Did I talk enough about the race? Like, I feel like I got out well. I was kind of on the outside, yeah. went out too fast. And like Pat was saying, once I got dropped from the second group, he kind of yeah, knew it was over. Recovery. And for me, like, I was in the front group for longer than probably I was capable. I fell off. Um, another group came around. I tried to stay on with that. Did I stay on at all for a bit? I feel like there was like four or five it. groups that just came by me. And I'd try to stay on. And I'd stay on for yeah. like 10 steps. And I'd just like get popped, get popped, get popped. And um, it was just... It was tough. 
it was tough. But it's what happens. I'm still here. Okay. And I'm still excited to race and finish up the season. I know. All right, that's long enough. <laughs> Bye. -bye.